The Falklands Dockyard Museum has a brand new exhibit that focuses on the contributions of women to life in the Falklands. The exhibit champions the achievements of women both young and old and features the stories of many women that still live in the islands today. The exhibit was also the first one created and put together by the museum's new exhibitions and promotions officer. Um, it was quite scary, this being the first exhibition, especially because I feel like it's quite a niche subject, like women of the Falklands. It's quite broad and I think that's what's great about it though, is that we've got women from all backgrounds. It's very, very diverse in there, so it's good. It's been very, very interesting to do. It's been great. <laughs> but I think it was just... I want to show those stories of the women now, but also the women in the past that struggled through all sorts of things. Like there's an amazing story of two widows that lived on New Island by themselves for four years with eight children and like ran the whole island by themselves. And this is a time when there's no communication and it's just like those kind of stories and kind of showing them and like bringing them to light and it's just it's really good to do. <laughs> yeah. See, there's so many women to read about. I think you could come back to this as a bit again and again and read about a different woman that you wouldn't have previously heard of. Uh, so I think that's really good. And all the women that we've got now as well because I think it's important to tell those stories too. The museum was full of invited guests who had come to support the opening, as they shared stories and memories about some of the featured women. Among the women on the wall was FITV's own Paula Phones. Now unfortunately Paula couldn't be at the opening, but many of the celebrated women were. Well, it was an honour to be asked to be part of it, and I wanted the point made in mind that if you're determined, and if you work hard, and if you stick at it, you can do almost anything. And that's how I brought up my daughters. And that's, I guess, what I learned from my mother and my grandmothers. I think women have played such an important part in the island's history. If it wasn't for the stoicism of the women who kept things going at home in the early years, and as you see from some of the exhibits, um, also played a great role in starting sheep farming and all the other things that went on. So it's just great for girls growing up to see what they can aim for, what they can achieve. It's a very humbling actually, and makes me feel quite proud to be up there on the wall. And it's a brilliant exhibition, um, and Tasman has sort of pioneered it, if you like, um, and we've all spent time gathering photographs and asking people for information, um, so it, it really is brilliant, a brilliant project. Yeah. And I've been working for the museum, I've discovered, for about 20 years in all, um, but yes, it is nice, and it's great to see people coming in and recognising people in photographs and remembering times in the past uh, and it, it does, it makes you feel very proud. The exhibit is now open for any museum visitor that wishes to learn a little bit more about the women that are making the Falklands proud. Yeah.